Opening round of the Butterfield Bermuda Championship. Windy day at Port Royal on Thursday. Patrick Reed in the conversation. Birdie there early in the round at the second to get to a couple under. Austin Ekro out of Oklahoma State. Just the latest cowboy to make some noise and make birdie there at the sixth. Grayson Sig for birdie at the eighth. Corn Ferry Tour graduate. He shot 68, three under par, par opening day of work. Reed for birdie here at five. Got him to a couple under par. Short game was uh, doing a lot of the heavy lifting for Reed on Thursday. Brandon Wu, birdie at 16 to get to one under. Anything in red numbers in blustery conditions was certainly acceptable. There were only about 30 players who registered under par rounds. Justin Lauer, pretty second shot there at 16, that treacherous little par three along the water. He saved par. Graham McDowell, birdie at the ninth. He likes breezy conditions. He might be one to keep an eye on here this week. That will move him to minus one. How about David Skins? Rookie on the PGA Tour at the age of 39. Beautiful tee shot here at the eighth. It came after an eagle on the previous hole, so a birdie there would get Skins a couple under par and into the mix. Danny Lee, a birdie putt here at 13. On the way to a round of 67, and Danny Lee at four under par. It's just a couple shots off the lead. Kramer Hickok, second shot here at 11. Par four, nifty. Led to an easy birdie. And that got Hickok to three under par. 13, 195 yard par three for Dylan Fratelli. Elevated tee in the wind. It's always a lot to decipher, but he did it brilliantly. And Fratelli made birdie there to get to two under par. I talked about Patrick Reed's marvelous short game. Well, it was on display all day long, as it typically is. That was at 14. Little chip in for birdie there to get Reed to three under. Meanwhile, Brandon Hagee was finishing up over on the other side of the golf course and just racking up birdies. This was at the sixth, one of nine birdies on the day. That got him to seven under, and he momentarily had a three-shot lead. But Patrick Reed was uh, in position to make a strong finishing kick as well. This was at 17. Third shot at the par five. And watch it disappear. Shot of the day, an eagle for Reed at 17. Much to the delight of those folks right there. Conditions were tough, but there was some great shot making like that one from Jason Duffner at the 16 on day one in Bermuda.